how's it going everyone we have palm trees we have storm clouds that can mean one thing and one thing only we got college baseball happening in the state of florida we are at the jacksonville college baseball classic put on by peak events and d1 baseball it's going to be a great day college baseball we're watching wichita state take on uva and after this we will watch the auburn tigers take on the iowa hawkeyes and what seems like physically an unfair match if the two mascots are fighting but on the ball field should be some good baseball action. So without further ado, let's get into it. So one thing I'm going to be doing when I go to these games, everywhere I go, I'm going to have to review their hot dogs. So here we got two of the dog options here at the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp Stadium. This is a regular hot dog. This is the all beef frank. It feels denser. This was $5. This was $2. You do with that information whatever you want. But I'm going to be reviewing dogs all season long. I don't care if they're on a bun. I don't care if they're on the ground. We're going to be giving you a reason to dog. So here's the regular. It's not good. It's just, there's really not much more to say. The, the meat itself is good. It's a little dry, but the bun, the bun is where you're really slacking. Now it doesn't need to be buttered or anything like that, but it just needs a little bit of love, a little bit of warmth. The junior hot dog is worth $2. You may think, geez, hurry it up. If I ate that bun any faster, that's a choking hazard. That would have to come with a warning. Lots of trouble. Now to the all beef frank. The all beef frank shows promise, but the bun is identical. So. All right, fans, it's time to welcome Lauren to the assistant by process tribute contestant. And you can play along with the Knock up. Defense app. Question What year did the Virginia Cavaliers most recently win the College World Series? Today, 2015. B, 2011. C, 2015. Or D, 2021. And this hot dog is a Slim Jim on a piece of white bread. That's all it is. There's a review. I'm done.
are officially back. The rain delay has come to a conclusion. Tarp is out a little bit, but hey, look, we set palm trees and storm clouds. We saw this coming. Now that the tarp is off the field, we're getting back to play. We got an inning and a half left for Virginia to pull off a little bit of a time. All right, so that's Nate Adler. I'm over here, Nate Adler, down there. I'm not Nate, I'm not Nate. He's studying to be a rocket scientist, I'm not. How's it going, everyone? We are here at the beautiful Homewood Suite. I, I don't know the exact name of this hotel, but don't worry. We'll be gone by the time this episode comes out, so we'll be safe. You know, <laughs> exactly. that's the important thing. But we are at the hot tub, the hotel pool combo, and we are joined by Iowa Hawkeye first baseman, Blake Guerin. Blake, how are you doing today? Good. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. Now, with your last name, is it Guerin Garen? How? What's the correct pronunciation? I always like to lead off with that. It's, it's important. It's Garen, like G A R O N. Okay, that's Garen. Yeah, okay, because the U E. That's where I know. it gets you. That's it where I get you. lost, and then I just get excited because then I start thinking about you. And I'm like, that is the happiest guy I've ever seen on a baseball field. I appreciate it. Now I want to lead with that. When you are out and you're like just out, even just standing in between pitches, you are always like laughing to yourself. You're always smiling. What's that about? What do you, what makes you so happy about baseball? I mean, I'm playing the game that everybody loves. It's a kid's game, like, and I'm doing it hopefully professionally at some point, and I get to step on the field with my boys every single day. Like, I can't ask for anything else. Absolutely, and now, of course, we are at the Jacksonville College Baseball Classic here. Long trip for Iowa, long ways from home. How was the flight down here? Good. Good. We had we had a connecting flight, which wasn't awful, but uh, getting here and 
we got here a day early, so it was nice. We practiced Wednesday night. Oh, that is so nice. So we practiced Thursday as well, so that was nice. Yeah, so as you guys are thawing out and enjoying the heat, have you noticed that as the rounds of BP go on, when you're in this warmer weather, that the balls go further? Is that something you you experience? Like, is I, that a true thing? Of course I noticed that stuff. Yeah, the ball flies a little bit better here. I struggled my first weekend, so BP for me this weekend was – more just trying to hit line drives right center and just stay through the baseball. And I was sending balls out right field, so that was it felt good seeing the ball fly a little more than it does in Iowa. Yeah, absolutely. Being here, being with the Jacksonville Baseball Classic, what what has this experience been like where you're at a college baseball tournament kind of before the season starts? Yeah, we, we went to one last year, and it was run by the same people, and it was unbelievable what they do for you. You have a dude following you around the whole time. You have snacks in your team room. You have video games. They have breakfast for you, like, I mean, you can't ask for any more. So it was really cool as a freshman. I didn't play last year, obviously, because of Brendan Nereghi. But it was really cool as a freshman just to come in and see how college baseball works more or less. And then this year to be playing in it and playing in one of these awesome tournaments with these big-name teams, like, it's a lot of fun. I can't ask for anything more. Definitely. And you mentioned the snacks. I got to I gotta ask, well, what's the best snack offering in there? What, what was oh, yeah. the one you were like, let's go, this is it? They got those crackers, those cheese crackers or peanut butter crackers. Ooh, those, those will good. hit. I, I grab those and I bring up three waters and a few crackers every time I go to my room. You'll forget about those from time to time as you go on in life. I've recently rediscovered the Captain Wafers. Mm -hmm change your life you hit the gas station you're like yes i forgot about these babies and they're like a dollar every I time I know, it's like money. good deal economically they're responsible money. tastes great exactly it, is that your favorite road trip snack because i mean being in iowa you're going to be traveling a lot to your big 10 games a lot of bus trips uh, what's your go-to gas station snack jeez that one's hard <laughs> um i know it's I, a it's a tug at the heartstrings question with us the honey roasted cashews and peanuts oh i get those a lot I, and those are good for you too I, mean, I love them so i i can munch on those things all day long i have two bags in my bag upstairs right now <laughs> just for airport and airplanes so no that's awesome i i'm right there with you cashews are an underrated legume I'm, of course this is your sophomore year at iowa last season getting ready to play learning a lot watching brendan play but before you got to Iowa, you had to get recruited. What was the Blake Garen recruiting process like? Uh, well, it started somewhat early. I really didn't believe in myself to play Division One baseball until I was probably 15. I went and played for the Minnesota Blizzard, and Adam Bard, our, our head guy there, is like, dude, you have a chance to play college baseball? And I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I made the second team my first year. Like, mm -hmm. I think it was the biggest thing for me making the second team my first year because – it really showed me I wasn't the best and I needed to be the best. And it kind of lit a fire under my butt where I was like, let's go. Like, I want to do this. And uh, so then recruiting started kicking off my sophomore, junior year. And it was obviously you could only call at that point. Mm -hmm. So I'm calling coaches and talked to Marty a little bit and talked to some other schools. And I was, I was interested. I didn't know what I really wanted to do, honestly. And I wasn't getting any offers. I got, I ended up getting my first offer from Georgia State. Like, Dad, I want to do it. He's like, Dude, just. <laughs> wait out like you're a sophomore you have so much time so i waited out and i started talking to some bigger schools and um but as soon as iowa offered me i jumped on it i just i knew i wanted to be closer to home ever since i was little i wanted to be away from home and i got <laughs> older and i got little brothers and i'm like i can't be that far away from home so <laughs> as soon as iowa offered i literally as they offered me we did a zoom call and then i, I committed that day. so you were halfway through accepting when right. they were halfway through the question exactly, no that's yeah. awesome and you mentioned your little brothers. Now, do they play baseball as well? Yeah, so Tyler's coming here next year. He's okay. He's playing baseball. He's 6'8", righty. Okay, so they aren't actually little brothers. Well, like, and I have two, okay. two little brothers. Okay, is one actually legitimate? Ten, and okay. then seven, nine and seven. Okay, so you got some time on them yep. for them to catch up to you. Yep, they both want to be Hawkeyes. <laughs> both their older brothers are Hawkeyes. So. But, yeah, Tyler's 6'8", Tyler's righty. 90 94 so that'll play yeah, yeah that'll definitely jet. play He's now good. do you get do you ever like face off against him i'm sure like going back home he's gonna love this going back home there are gonna be a lot of times where it's like look i need to get reps in what are the odds i can find a lot of talented pitchers in my area well let's look downstairs because tyler's there right Oh god yeah. you said he's gonna love this he's gonna love this yeah we i mean we played high school ball together for one year and he punched me a few times. I will say that. I didn't. I didn't get a hard hit ball off him. He, he, he just got good sink. He's got a good sweeper. And I mean, then he was throwing what eighty 
six eighty eight. How tall was he then? Was he still six foot eight? No, he was. I bet he was six four. So were you always like just a giant person? Because I mean, you don't get the name Big Bopper by being small. I shot past my dad. I want to say eighth grade, ninth grade. Okay, and, and then, then it was always yeah. just like. And I came home from school last year, and Tyler came into my room, and I looked at him, and I was like, what the heck? And I looked down to see if he had shoes on, he did it, and I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> it was like, and, I'm only sitting when this guy's yeah, in the room and now. And he, he came up to me, and he stands over, and he goes, who's the little brother now? I was like, get out of my face. And he's just a string bean. Like, he's, <laughs> we, we, we give okay, him, I all tell right. him he's 200 soaking wet. Okay, like so there's give and take there. Exactly, there's room exactly. For I can still beat him okay. up if I need to. Okay, so you still got the dominance there. 100%. If you go back for live ABs, doesn't go your way. You exactly. can at I least can make something, something go. Something. Yeah, okay, exactly. that is good to hear. Yeah. Well, Blake, thank you so much for appreciate taking it. the time. I thank appreciate you. you. How's it going, everyone? We are here in Jacksonville. And it's hot. Action's hot. We're with the Iowa baseball team. Fellas, how are we doing here? We're good. 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 Now, the weather's a little bit different than Iowa. Would we be in a hot tub in Iowa right now? For sure. Yeah. 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 Now, do you guys do cold talks? How do you guys prepare for the cold? Because you guys are going to play in the cold quite often, right? Prepare by playing in the cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if it's yeah. outside, yeah. we're yeah. outside. If it's before no season, playing outside. So. Really? Yeah. So you guys are just out there all the time. No indoor facility. You guys aren't taking the easy way out. We're just we're wearing it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have indoor facilities. We, we Once it gets to 40, we're outdoors. Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be no snow. That's fair. No snow. Yeah. <laughs> it feels clear we're out. Okay. Now I noticed a few of you guys got these armband things. What are those? Blue. Okay, so it's loose. Okay. I didn't know. Is that team issue? Because there's a lot of guys. We all have it, but it's a pretty good amount of guys, though. Okay. I was going to say, I was like one of those innovative schools. I was talking with Blake about this. You guys have like all this new stuff. Every year, I feel like last year was the blink and flashlights. <laughs> like, what was it this year? What, what's the new thing this year? With the getting a vision person? It's not new, it's it's vision is, is That's so cool. So, I, I got to know what's your favorite extracurricular thing of being an Iowa baseball player? The extra perk that you're getting? Because uh, I hear Eye Doctor comes twice a month, and as an adult who doesn't know how to schedule doctor's appointments, <laughs> I'm envious. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty solid. The, uh, everything that we get access to, like taking care of everything about our lives, lives is pretty sweet. Eye doctors, nutritionists, like you name it, we have access to it. Use it as much as we can. Maybe get with the person whose job it is to schedule all those and shadow them. That'll, that'll be extra valuable for you. I'm telling you, it'll help you out way down the road. In but beyond that, being here in Jacksonville, being at the college baseball season, what has it been like being here with all the extra amenities opposed to a normal college baseball weekend? It's been really nice, especially like they take, take really good care of us in the hotel and stuff, all sorts of food. Uh, the option of stadium is super nice and being around all the other teams is a good cool deal. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You guys get a little swag bag from our yeah. sponsors and all that. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite thing you got? Favorite bottle. Yeah, yeah, the seeds are solid. Yeah, the seeds are solid. Favorite flavor? Favorite flavor? Cinnamon. 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 Both solid. I like Parmesan pepper. That's a good one. But cinnamon, like late innings, getting towards the witching hour. I mean, 2 a.m. You're still playing for whatever reason. Bad ever happens. Cinnamon toast crunch. Throw those in. Right. Yeah. But guys, thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah. Thank you for letting me enjoy your hot dog. Sure, of course. <laughs> Thank you.
in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. Right now we got Wichita and Auburn going at it. Of course, Auburn finished their game against Iowa. They pulled out the 7-5 victory late last night, around like 2 a.m. Just crazy stuff. Shout out to the Auburn guys for being able to get to sleep, get rested, and come back out here with a hot start against the Wichita Shockers. It's a lot of fun to watch, so let's go check it out. We're here with Mike Finn and Mike, you are a Jacksonville local. A Jacksonville, you're an expert on the location, are you not? Sure, sure. I'll take that all day. So, Mike. What, what do you do here in Jacksonville? Well, I just moved down here originally from Baltimore. Uh, you know, took a new job, wanted a new start, and uh, been here for about seven months and enjoying uh, enjoying some baseball down here in the Sunshine State. Yeah, well, you couldn't have picked better baseball action to be taking in. We just saw great, great play made by Ethan Anderson of UVA. Now, you've been to this stadium before. Sure. You are more familiar with it than I am. Sure. What's your official review of this stadium? What do, what do you think of it? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, unbelievable place to watch a game. Last time I've been here, uh, they made some changes, especially when it comes to the right field bleachers. They took the bleachers away. There used to be a bar out there. It used to connect when it comes to uh, the first base, like seating bowl. But, um, you know, it looks like they're doing a little bit of work behind the uh, center field wall. There's a great bar out here in left field. Um, you know, if I have to rate it out of 10, I'll give it a... 7.6 when it comes to double-A ballparks. I believe there's double shrimp or double-A. Is that right? Yeah, you probably know better than I. I'm, I'm more tend and leaning towards the college stuff. And then I space out after that. Oh, That's yeah. I mean, lost. just for, for a college round robin, though, couldn't be a better ballpark. You aren't wrong. Now, what would you compare this park to 
in your experience? Sure. You've seen other fields, of course, in college, the home field you were going to games at was one of the most beautiful ones in college baseball. Sure, Park. Sure. But what, where would you rank this compared to other fields? You know, I mean, in terms of uh, new architecture and, uh, you know, atmosphere, it looks like a, an older, you know, new Florida Gators ballpark to me. I've been there one time, you know, I've been there for a couple years now, and uh, it kind of looks like that new park down there in Gainesville is like a more modern version of this. Just took took the good things out of this park, made it better there. But you know, this, this place, like I said, it's a good spot. Honestly, that's a great <laughs> comp because we are in what I think are one of the best seating arrangements you can have in a baseball stadium, which are these chairs, oh, the yeah, mesh backs. Beautiful. I don't know if we can see that on the camera. Can Check you see that. that on the camera? <laughs> oh. Okay, so we got that. The mesh back. That's for free. You get one peak back there for free. The next one's going to cost you. But we got the mesh back, which is really good for sweat. Now, today's not a hot day, but if it were a hot day, I would be sitting here and I'd be sweat free. That's right. Opposed to the regular <laughs> traditional back chairs, it's soup. You know, it's not great. No soup tonight, though. <laughs> no soup for you. No. Thank you no very much, you. Mike. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. <laughs>that is a wrap on day two of the Jacksonville College Baseball Classic. We wrapped it up with an absolute thriller from the fellows from Iowa and the boys from the University of Virginia. Virginia pulling off the comeback, completing it with home runs, with small ball, with just chipping away, staying in the game. And that's why relief pitching is so important. We saw a lot of relief pitchers do a great job on the mound today. And that's all we have from the Jacksonville College Baseball Classic. So thank you so much for tuning in. This was the very first Jacksonville College Baseball Classic. I think they should do it again, and I think you should see yourself down to Jacksonville to check it out for yourself. Be sure to tune in again next week because we have a very exciting one. We are hitting the road once again for a massive in-state rivalry. You are not going to want to miss it.